This is the UNCC Absorb Fall 2020 Senior Design 2 team for the Biologically Inspired Potential Energy Impact Absorbers. My name is Nicholas Dellinger, and my teammates are Luke Brown, Yogeshwar Sukdeo, and Nicholas Carranza. This project was sponsored by the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, and the project mentors were Dr. Chunzu and Wen Zhang. Uh, for this project, we look to research, design, and develop energy absorbing microstructures uh, with inspiration drawn from nature and organisms. The requirements for the project is to design 3D CAD models and then with those 3D CAD models produce FEA analysis to simulate compression tests. Also produce 3D printed prototypes and produce theoretical and experimental comparisons. These structures aim to withstand and increase compressive forces and for our novel designs, we had three designs. The first design was a honeycomb structure with a sinusoidal wave inspired by the beak of a woodpecker. Design two was a hexagonally arranged kagome lattice inspired by human skin. And design three was a tubular honeycomb inspired by the ram's horns microstructure. Theoretical results show the highest specific energy absorption value to be produced by the sinusoidal wavy honeycomb design. These results came from a simulated result of the traditional honeycomb that came out with great access to existing values in literature for that structure. On the contrary, experimental results indicated the highest specific energy absorption value to be produced by the hexagonally arranged tubular structure inspired by the ram's horns. So when we look at each of the four curves in figure one, which show the results generated from the experimental testing on an Instron machine of each of our prototype models, we can see a similar load distribution behavior across several different orders of magnitude due to the different sizes of our fi uh, finished prototypes. When we integrate these curves and divide by the mass of each structure, we're able to more accurately describe the capabilities of each model on a per mass basis, regardless of their relative sizes. So although the experimental testing showed the tubular honeycomb to be superior, its mass was also many times larger than all of the other models. When we examine the simulated absorptive capabilities of our models, we can be more competent in the overall accuracy of the values produced due to the extremely high accuracy for the value of energy absorption obtained from our traditional honeycomb simulation and its well-known value in literature at around 35 to 40 joules per gram. When discussing these results, we can see that there's a large effect of the absorption capabilities of the models due to their changing material properties. The simulated results appear to be much more accurate based on their accuracy to the traditional honeycomb and their simulations being generated with a 3D printed stainless steel that we experimentally obtained in a lab. However, the experimental prototypes were 3D printed with a PLA plastic, which produces vastly different buckling, elasticity, and absorption behavior than a 3D printed stainless steel or any metal alloy would. To conclude this project, our team can infer with a reasonable level of accuracy that we were able to develop at least one model with a higher specific energy absorption capability than a traditional honeycomb would. Our experimental results show that maybe all three of the models that we developed might be superior. Moving forward with this project, if we had the capability to do so, we believe that a 3D printed stainless steel model would be able to confirm this prediction or provide much greater insight into the differences between our experimental and theoretically obtained values. This is the UNCC Absorb Senior Design 2 team for the fall 2020 semester. Thanks for watching.